What's up guys? I'm Jay Dub and today we're gonna head up to a high point on the mountain. It's kind of an overlook lookout type of area and we're gonna test out different antennas on handhelds because I hear this all the time that you know the antenna makes the difference and you know I believe it but I want to prove it. Anybody can say anything that they want on the internet but I'm here to prove it and let's see if it actually works. I've got four different antennas that we're gonna try. All four of them are rated for GMRS except for one. One is a signal stick, but first, I need my coffee. Off to the coffee shop. Let's go. All right, guys, we've made it right here. Kanawa Cafe. Let's go in here and get my coffee. All right, guys, so we got our caramel apple, cold brew. These things are awesome if you hadn't had them. Not much of a coffee drinker, but I do like these things. Mm, way cheaper than Starbucks, too. All right, let's get up on the mountain. All right, guys, we've got the Jeep up here. We have made it to the lookout point. And that, that buzzes the, when you get the Eco Diesel, it, it buzzes for a few minutes after you stop it. But it'll quit here in a second. This is our view. Not looking very good. Um, there's kind of a little forest service map up here kind of shows you like what all the mountain peaks and stuff are like over here you know you got that mountain and yeah you know, lake moomaw if you watch our videos that's where we camp and stuff it's right there um what we got we got oliver mountain can't forget it guys right over there so if you're ever up here and you want to look at these mountains don't come early in the morning when the fog's still up as you can see it is a beautiful foggy morning all right guys so this is the radio we're going to be using and it is the wuxin kg q10g and if you remember mine had a little issue both of mine the antenna started coming unscrewed um the little red loctite they put on there i'm assuming they didn't clean the threads before they did it so good news for me my antennas come off um just maybe play with yours and it'll probably come off so guys we have a few antennas we're going to do we have got the standard antenna that comes with the Wuxin. We have, I think I said all these were rated for GMRS. This one's actually not. This one is 400 to 480. So, you know, this one is 462 to 467, which is your GMRS. This one's 400 to 480, which GMRS falls in there. So it should be okay. I've never checked the SWR on that. Maybe that'll, that'll hurt us. We have a Nagoya antenna, which is the NA771G. This is an official Nagoya antenna. I bought it from their uh, site and I picked up the wrong one. So we're not testing the Nagoya because it is SMA. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Well, regardless, the last antenna we're gonna be doing is the signal stick. And these are a dual band antenna. They are you know, your two meter and your 70 centimeter. Um, I haven't heard anybody have any issues with them with GMRS, so this is what we're gonna be testing. The repeater that we're gonna be going out here to try to hit today is a buddy of mine's repeater. Uh, Mark, if you're watching, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm borrowing your repeater for a little bit. It is on Kenny Mountain, Keely, Ken, it's not Keeley Mountain. Um, I think I said in one of my last videos I was hitting his repeater on Keeley Mountain. It's not Keeley. Keeley is 90 some miles away. I think this one, his repeater is like 40 some miles. Um, let me check real quick. All right, so there's not enough sales signal. Um, I'm going to assume we're about 40 to 50 miles. So he's taking his repeater off my GMRS. I'm not really sure why. I'll have to shoot him a text and ask him, you know, why he took it off there. But regardless, we're going to be borrowing your repeater for a little bit, doing a little testing. If you hear me, Go ahead, holler back at me. It'll make this test just a little bit better. It is eight o'clock in the morning on a Thursday. I don't suspect we're gonna have anybody hollering back at us. But as you can see, our conditions are terrible, really bad. We're starting to get a little wind up here. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Right now we've got the stubby antenna. So we're gonna come through here and I'd like to set this up in a way that y'all can see it. Menu. So, I need to see if I can brighten the screen up a little bit more. If we can get that screen brightened up, maybe y'all will be able to see. What we're going to be measuring is how how hard the repeater comes back. Um, we're going to test this with my repeater also because my repeater is actually that way down the mountain a good ways. If you remember, my repeater is about at the midways 
of a mountain. Uh, my repeater sits at about 1,500 feet ish and i believe right here we are sitting at where's my gaia if you don't use Gaia maps guys these things this is great oh we're at 3800 feet well, almost 3900 feet we're at 3880 now we're at 3890 between 3880 and 3890 this first test will be with my repeater so we're putting our transmit power on low i'm hoping you guys will be able to see this Testing one, two, three, four, WRUJ five, four, four. I might have to just read it off to you guys. You can't really see it. So we're transmitting with low power. Testing one, two, three, four, WRUJ five, four, four. And we're not getting any kickback with this antenna. So that is our stubby thing, our stubby one, um, our, this will be another good way we can test it. I have our Zello channel right here. So if we actually hit my repeater, you'll hear it coming across Zello, hopefully. The next antenna we're going to go to is a little bit longer one. This is the one the radio comes with. This is the one that probably should work the best since the radio comes with it. But, you know, we don't know. That's why we're up here testing it. So, this is antenna test WRUJ544. This is a test WRUJ544. Anybody get a copy? Once again, still not hitting our repeater, not getting any kickback. Nothing has come across. Woo! <laughs> Nothing has come across our Zello channel yet. So try a little bit bigger antenna. Like I said, the Nagoya antenna, like an idiot, I brought the wrong one. So we're going to be testing out the signal stick. Um, it's going to be kind of difficult to hit the repeater today. Hopefully, we can hit the one way out there. Like I said, we should be at roughly the same elevation between the two. Testing one, two, three, four, WRUJ five, four, four. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. All right, we hit it, but were we getting any sound? We got some, let's listen. Okay, so we didn't get any sound. So let's try cutting the volume, or cutting the power. Transmit power. Enter. We'll, we'll just run it on high and see what happens. And actually, while we've got it on high, I want to test it out with the little antenna. Because if we can get it with this one, then we know we'll get it with the bigger ones. Or actually, we, know, we don't know, actually. So. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. WRUJ544. So we are hitting the repeater. But we're not getting much kickback on this. So, I don't know, guys. The little antenna, while I do like it, and we use that one quite often when we go places. Um, if you don't know, we take these radios a lot of places with us. We go camping, we go to amusement parks, stuff like that. These work everywhere where your phone doesn't. This is testing the Wuxin KGQ10G with the stock antenna. This is with the stock antenna, WRUJ544. All right, so that one didn't sound real good. Um, let's test, are we getting kickback? We are, we're about halfway on the, on the kickback. So this one is definitely receiving a lot better than the little stubby. Now, the signal stick All right, so here's our signal stick. If you don't know, these guys come with a little BNC connector, connect them up. These actually, they say they work really well. Um, this will be my first actual real test with it. So let's get y'all set up to where you can watch the Zello channel. If you want to guys, check out our Zello channel. There'll be a link down in the description below. Testing one, two, three, four, WRUJ544. We are using the signal stick. You do hear a little static over the Zello, but it does appear to be working. And the exact same amount of kickback, about halfway. So, with that, we're going to test my buddy's repeater out here. 
Um, we're going with the little the little one. Like I said, Menu. we're going to put this transmit power. Enter the worst possible scenario. We're putting it on low power, testing the Keeley knob repeater or Kenny. Uh, I keep saying Keeley Kenny knob. Kenny Kenny knob. I forget how you say it. Let's go ahead and test it. Repeater test, WRUJ544, testing out an antenna on a handheld from Airport Mountain, Virginia. Full bars back. You heard it kick back nice and strong. Let's see if anybody comes back to us. Well, that's good to know. Um, while we're doing this, though, let's test this thing. I believe we got Mark. Hey Mark, this is Josh from over here in Covington. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a video right now. I didn't know if you wanted to be in it or not. I'm testing out different antennas from a high point to see how they do. Um, right now I've got the signal stick antenna on a handheld. Signal stick antenna sounds, uh, sounds great back in Bikini Mountain. I'm located in Rupert, West Virginia about at 12 miles away or so. Uh, sound full quieting here. Go ahead. All right, so he is in Rupert, West Virginia. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to a different antenna real quick. Let me know if you hear any difference. Okay, go ahead there, John. All right, so we're gonna go back to the little stubby. All right, Mark, now I'm using a little stubby antenna. Um, do you notice any difference in the sound? We're running on low power on a handheld. <clears throat> Good kickback. Not really. Not recognizable anyhow. Uh, really don't see any difference at all. All right, very good. I've got one more antenna to test, then I'll let you go, bud. Not a problem there. All right. So now we've got the antenna that the Wilson KG Q10G comes with. We're going to test it out real quick. All right, Mark, now this is the antenna that the Wilson KG Q10G comes with, and it's still on low power. Haven't come off low power yet. Do you notice any difference? Still 100% uh, kickback. You're still cold quieting into the repeater here. Uh, good. Uh, sound real good there. All right, I appreciate that. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, what type of repeater is this? Okay, so it is uh, two, it's two mobile radios that you've married together, though, right? No, it's it's a oh. one repeater. Oh, okay. One, uh, one cavity. Oh, okay. Well, that was my mistake then. It, it does. It sounds really good. Like I said, I'm up here at Airport Mountain at the Overlook. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever been up here, but the repeater sounds really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this video wrapped up, man. I I appreciate you hollering back at me. WRUJ five four four. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's usually somebody around here listening, and uh, uh, if you need something or need to holler back, somebody will come back to you there. Have a good day there. Enjoy the uh, pretty weather while it's lasting there. WRUJ 544, WRXC 395. Yeah, I'm going to try, bud. It was good hollering at you. So I'll, I'll holler at you some other time. As you can see, there's not really a big difference on the antenna if you have a good clear line of sight now where we did see the difference is where we had the where we had the radio or had the repeater at the base of the mountain trying to get back to it that's where you're going to see your difference so it's your low signal areas but if you get to a good high point like what i really wanted to show you in this video line of sight is key line of sight is everything you know so if you're looking for a good radio 
this one right here i like it highly recommend it the uh wilson kg 935g another one really good radio um these things have the channel wizard in it so it makes setting up repeaters really good uh super easy but I just wanted to get this little video out here. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and like always, take someone outdoors.